Hi Capricorn and welcome to your spirit guide messages for February 2019. I'm going to start the reading off by pulling the three prime energies that uh, your spirit guides would like to bring to your attention for whatever reason for February. So Capricorn, let's see what comes out for you guys. Okay, ooh, you guys got the coyote, the revealer of truth. Okay, so it says, don't take things too seriously. Make time to play. Great wisdom comes from laughing at your own folly. Look out for traps and tricks of life and learn and learn from them. Okay, so Capricorn, this here is saying if there is any person in your midst that you feel that you can't trust or is being dishonest somehow some way you really need to um take notice of that and not turn away from it okay but also with this um there's some truths that are going to come to light in your reality in the month of february and um now i do want to say in this reading it could be the month of February or Spirit's bringing you these messages now if they're really resonating because it's relevant and it is going to unfold at some point and it's like you need something from this for when it happens it will be some sort of synchronicity for you, okay? But um, there's truth coming to light or there's a truth, Capricorn, that you feel you want to share with somebody and this could be where you've really been holding your true feelings and opinion about something back and it's like you finally just can't anymore you're like oh my god I just I can't I have to tell this person you know I just I don't want to hear it one more minute like this is what I really think and I've just been trying to be nice but you just never shut up and you always come and blah 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 and I'm done like some of you it might be that type of truth but it's there is like a secret coming to light for some of you First message out from Spirit Guides. Next out. Ooh, nice. We've got the Raven a Shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom and words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. Whoa, yeah. See, look at that. This is about secrets too, okay? But Capricorn, um, with Shaman, Raven Shaman coming out next, there may be some um, things you find out, things that come to light for you about, you know, situations or other people or even if you are directly involved. But it's almost as though with the pairing of these two energies, when you are detecting this, Capricorn, you're almost better to kind of pretend like you don't know um, and not share what you've discovered with anybody else. And I feel like um, that has a lot to do with something that's going to come up down the line where what you discover or what's found out for you um, during February, you keep it under wraps. At some point down the road, there's going to, it's all you're going to know why. It's not for nothing, okay? Um, but you are really seeing a person or situation for what it is, but I get the sense you're more of an observer of this rather than it directly happening to you. This is a general reading, so it could be, and just be very aware of that. But again, the message is the same. You know, don't put yourself in danger, but be the observer more than calling somebody out because if you give somebody enough rope, they'll eventually hang themselves, right? So keep that in mind when you're detecting whatever this is Capricorn you're not wrong and oh my gosh yeah look at last card out loon intuitive um Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Uh, recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. So the loon coming out to wrap up the, you know, three cards from the spirit animals. Capricorn, yeah, you know what's up. And I'm trying to remember, I feel like your weekly was a similar title to something like that, but I, I just, I can't quite remember, or maybe it was a couple weeks ago. Um, but it's this, it's, you know what's up. And you see it for what it is. Sagittarius had a very similar message as this. Um, 
but to me you're more of the observer like you're learning you're gaining information you're gaining insight you're gaining understanding about uh, how something's really working um, but also it's giving you experience that's going to serve you somewhere down the road okay i don't know why that's so relevant but it's like Whatever you're seeing play out here down the road is when it comes in handy. And this could be a situation that you really don't care about either way. You just see it for what it is and you kind of like giggle and laugh. Or maybe if this is in the workplace, you and a coworker, you know, talk about it a little bit and ha ha ha, how stupid are they? Like, you know, just it's something kind of in passing. I don't know. It's just you, you see it for what it is. And... Um, the spirit's like, hold your tongue, Capricorn, hold your tongue until the right moment. You'll know when it is, okay? If you're questioning it, it's not the right moment. You'll know when the right moment it is to reveal what you have discovered, what you know. And um, I just think uh, there's also some things in your personal life that are going to come to the surface uh, through your intuition, through signs and synchronicities, especially birds. Um, so if you're not somebody who normally pays attention to like the birds outside or just birds in general, for the rest of February, really take note of any birds that are coming your way. And if there's a bird that's repetitive, look up online what the, what the energy of that particular bird represents because the animal energies, the animal spirits are very much with Capricorn uh, in February, guiding you, leading you. Um, you just know what's up. So let's pull some more cards. Oh, yeah, look at that. The bonsai. Uh, this is coming out under the coyote, the revealer of truth. You are very strong, very disciplined. Um, hold your shape. Keep what you know under wraps. That's coming out so perfectly uh, paired. Winter. Oh my gosh, yes. Capricorn, listen. I, yeah, this is, nope, Raven, nope. Just keep it under wraps. And lastly, autumn. <laughs> um, there will come a time. So you guys got three different trees. There's, you know, more than trees in this um, deck. You know, there's a lot of trees. But uh, this, to me, is just telling a story where Capricorn sees what's up, knows what's really going on through this bonsai energy but is not revealing that they know what's going on or telling anybody about it. It's just, um, it's keeping things under wraps because there is a time and place and you will know, you will know. This is going to so serve you. Um, man, and your guides don't want to go much into detail about it because you know what I think? Is this happens like the figuring out, the finding out, the op, the observation of whatever this is comes in February, but the other side of it, the finality of it, comes later on. And I don't feel like it's in winter or autumn. I don't feel like that's why these uh, came out, not to depict a season, but to depict the energy of what's going on here. And it's just perfectly paired. So let's keep going with this. Yeah, and you just walk a straight line, Capricorn. It, this could even be where you are around a group of people who are doing something that they are just not supposed to do. But as long as you, you could be there, you could be seeing it, you could know about it, but as long as you didn't participate in it, or as long as you don't let anybody know that you were there and you saw and witnessed, you are just fine. I don't know. Keep those secrets, Capricorn. Um... And those of you that need, that have this desire to really speak your truth to somebody, with this, Spirit is saying, wait for the moment. Hold it in. I will create the moment for you, okay? So those of you where it's like, 
um, you've been holding your true opinion and feelings in, trying to be nice, trying to be the bigger person, you know, being this bonsai energy, spirit says, listen, um, cut the person's situation off or out, put it, disconnect whatever you need to do, um, because I will tell you when it's time to release that truth within your soul, okay? But I see you want to, Capricorn, but spirit's like, I will tell you when it is time. Yeah, look at this. Happiness is at hand. The sunflower. Mm-hmm. That's Capricorn walking the straight line and not letting anybody know what you know. Willow, bells parting under the winter. Yeah, this is where you know, I, gosh, Capricorn, it's like you know the truth about something that nobody else does. Like, it's revealed to you. Um, some of you that are very spiritual, this could have to do with, like, uh, some sort of, a crime or case that you're working on trying to solve whether you're actively actively helping um, like a, a police unit or this is just something you do on your own time for intuition and growth development etc um, you are you gosh you're just coming into like all these truths about whatever it is for you um, whether you're working on some sort of case you uh, are trying to figure a person out a situation out why something was said why something was done it's like it's all gonna come to you the veils are gonna part and Capricorn you are gonna know there's no question no doubt but I it's like spirits like keep it quiet keep it quiet because okay time for nurturing um and this is autumn sitting on the autumn end the loon card this is that confirmation of divine timing um if you if you expose what you know or really express your truth in the wrong time it won't be received it's like spirits still creating the situations um outside of this of what's to come okay it's like there's still creation happening and that's why you just keep quiet about it um, but know it, you know it, and it's, uh, these general readings get hard for me because um, I know that this energy is general, but the way it's playing out is in a lot of your lives. I mean, I just, I know that, but the way it specifically unfolds and plays out in your life is different for each of you. So let's just say um, this is a job situation you see a lot of shady stuff going on at the job, all right? Or you've had uh, ideas about certain things going on at the job place. Well, you're going to find out the truth about all of that, but it's like somebody doesn't know you come across some documents or you overhear something or you see something. Like, it's somebody doesn't know that you have found out or that you know. And spirits, like, don't let on to the fact that you know it will actually serve you better not to because there's a time and place and you'll know when that is okay um for others of you if this is like where you just hate your job and you want to get out of your job um it's keep the nice happy front on tell nobody in the workplace of your plans i don't care if it's your work friend that you love to pieces keep it quiet don't share your plans don't if you're especially going for interviews or trying to leave the company don't don't do it just keep it to yourself okay um, really follow your intuition and your internal guidance through February because you are on fire Capricorn a lot like Sagittarius so let's uh All right, yeah, look at, we have the Ace of Swords, which is about communication and, you know, having a position of power and strength and, you know, being able to cut somebody off and out, but Capricorn, no, this is where we are on point. We are the bonsai. We have a, a big sunflower smile on our face and nobody really knows uh, what's going on in that head of yours like it must remain a mystery because what we have now is this queen of cups on the veils parting and winter yeah capricorn um you know what you know and i hate saying that because again i sagittarius's reading was very similar to this but you know what you know and um you've got to trust yourself and 
Also, you've got to trust divine timing because over here, look at that. We have the Three of Pentacles, which is sitting on the autumn and the garden, which is the harvest, the divine timing, the moment, the job opportunity being presented to you. And so now you can finally say, you know what, here's my two weeks. Or maybe for some of you, you're just like, nope, I'm out of here. See you later. Bye. I mean, you know, everybody's had different experiences. So how you handle yourself um, on upon your exit from a company is really your business. But um, Capricorn, trust yourself. And again, um, there's things coming to light. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. And here is like this harvest, this opportunity that will be presented to you. And this is good stuff, okay? Real good stuff. But share nothing share nothing through February keep it all under wraps um, and if you're like trying to build a case or something you're better served to just again do things very on the down low and not let people know of your plans um, the sh raven at the center of your reading you are the creator and the magician use your gifts for good there is power in your wisdom and words connect with the el elemental spirits and glide through the void claim your place as keeper of the mysteries okay so glide through the void winter darkness void cold right the veils are parting on all that. You're going to be told. You're going to be shown. You're just going to know something, Capricorn. All right? And it's like some of you that have been having a feeling about something, it's about to be confirmed for you as well. And you're like, mm-hmm, I knew it. But good things are at hand, okay? Just walk the line. Smile on the face. Know what you know. And know this, that uh, spirit will set up the um, time and place for you to speak it. Okay, so those are your messages, Capricorn. I'm wishing you all the best. Oh my gosh, no I'm not. Well, I am wishing you the best, but I almost, I mean, that was just so complete that I almost didn't get you your guys' advice. I am so sorry. Okay, that I mean, that was just deep and good for me. So let's see. Good thing Spirit was like, wait, what you doing? Mm, ladybird. Accept happiness and good fortune. Yes. See, Capricorn, it, good things are coming. It's like good things come to those who wait, who don't uh, reveal all they know until the perfect time. It, it's just, mm, Spirit's setting something up good for you. I almost feel like... This is going to be like a vindication um, when this truth can finally come out and be said and be revealed. Like, it is a vindication for you. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yes. Look at that butterfly. New beginnings. Um, look at master number 44. Let this magic in, let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. Yep, Capricorn, I've given I've said it all through this reading, and here's just the final confirmation of all. Yeah, there things are gonna get better for you, and there will come spirit will set the moment up for you to speak your truth. In the meantime, you know, just walk the line and you know trust yourself. You know what you know and. Some of you, you might get a kind of a shock of truth about, I don't feel like it's about you personally like involved. It's just a, you know, kind of juicy gossip like, oh my God, are you kidding me? Like that's really happening. You know, some of you, it's definitely something like that. Anyways, with that said, Capricorn, those are your messages. So I am wishing you all the best. Take care.